Architectural plans that you see today are very sterile, they're very computer generated, but these plans are very different. Uh, they have a lot of personality, they've got a lot of creative flair in them. They show all the information required for an architectural plan, but every now and then he's sort of gone off and done little details and things that probably weren't needed by the builders, but he just enjoyed doing it. After the State Library acquired the Hall and Dodds collection, which is 297 plans, the partners of the State Library through the Queensland Library Foundation made it possible for the conservation treatment and digitisation of the collection so that it's accessible to the public. For the Hall and Dodds, which is Art in Architecture exhibition that's opening in April, there is going to be 21 of the plans from this collection. So it's just a snapshot of the whole collection and the depth that there is. When we first received a collection, we divided them into plans that required minimal treatment and then plans that required complex treatment. Most of our minimal treatment ones just needed um, flattening and then put into the encapsulate and digitised. They didn't need any further treatment. The more complex ones um, needed a lot more work. Each plan was taken out, it was photographed, we condition reported it. And then from then we then started launching into the actual treatment, which involved dry cleaning with a razor crumbs. That's just to get the surface dirt and grime off the plans. From there, we had to do some tape removal on some of them. This sticky tape is from one map. So um, that, that had a lot of sticky tape on it, trying to um, repair the tears. From there, they were humidified because they'd been so tightly rolled, they couldn't be treated yet because we couldn't keep them flat and open. So we humidified them and then flattened them. From then we did tear repairs as well as washing and suction work and that's just to get out heavy staining that's in the plans. And then we did infills. A lot of areas of the maps were missing because they'd been handled a lot and opened and some of them had been housed quite poorly so they had lots of damage around the edges so we've repaired those. And then finally we encapsulate them which is putting them into a mylar sleeve which makes it easier for people to handle and it means that the surfaces of the maps won't get damaged through handling. And we also digitise them as well, which means that's another option of access to the plans without being able to handle the original material. From there they go into storage into our repository. It is a bit of a science of, of art really. We, we have to be, you know, enjoy science. There's a lot of science involved in the materials, in paper and in textiles. And it's also understanding art because we exhibit a lot of things. We have to be very creative in the ways that we approach the conservation. So the result of the treatment is aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. And also the art of drawing and using watercolours. We need to understand where the artists come from, what materials they use, why they use those materials and how they interact with the linen supports and the paper supports. I think the satisfaction we get is after we've completed a treatment and look back on photographs of what it looked like before and we've been able to remove things that would have deteriorated it further and made it worse. It's also been a library-wide thing, not just um, conservation, there's um, the digitisation part and heritage collections with the cataloguing have been very committed to getting this collection up and accessible as well. In terms of the scale of the project, it is quite large. Um, we haven't had quite a, such a large acquisition that's required such intense conservation treatment in such a short period of time and it's only through the Queensland Library Foundation that we've been able to dedicate that time and commit to getting this treated. It is very important that we um, continue the conservation treatment of a lot of our collections, especially if we want to create um, a Queensland memory and to keep our heritage and things that we hold important to us alive for future generations. We need to you know, have the funding and have the time to be able to you know, preserve these things.